Hey guys, what is up? It is Ryan Sneaks back with another sneaker video and today I have a brand new pickup for you guys. But first, before anything, I want to show you the new tees that I picked up, which were from the Boost World Tour. Which this one actually, if I stand up, you'll see it says, uh, Boost Your World NYC. The next one that I got was the actual Rio tee, which just says Boost Your World Rio on it. I thought they are pretty cool tees and it kind of goes with this video that I'm going to do right now. Uh, plus it has the boost logo on it, which I don't find on a lot of Adidas tees. As you can see right there, it kind of has that boost pattern and texture to it right there. And yeah, they're about $12 each. I found them on eBay and there's still quite a few that I saw that were on there. And I'm not too sure what they were from because the tags say they were $0 and 0 cents. So, uh, not too sure. But that is it for that one. The next thing that I picked up is a new pickup from Finish Line. Uh, which is kind of a really really delayed W now when these first came out I wasn't really too hyped on them uh, I like the black one more than the gray when it did happen as you can see it's the NMD R1 PK so I was actually looking for this exact pair to do the custom on and then I saw someone post on Twitter today that one of the malls here in town actually did a restock on them and they had one size 11 left. Now I was actually busy, I was at work, so I called my girlfriend, let her know that I put them on hold and she went over there and picked them up for me, so shout out to you. But yeah, this shoe came out I think last month and today's January 26th and they still had them. So uh, I think it was a restock, I just saw that they had them. But all right, getting into the shoes right now, uh, this is an 11, like you saw on the label right there, which is a little bit smaller than what I have gotten in any NMD. The smallest that I have is the OG, which is an 11 and a half. Uh, I didn't get to try these on, like I said, because my girlfriend went and got them for me, but I did try them on when she gave them to me and they fit pretty much the same. I still have room on these. Uh, going down, I guess half a size is not a big deal with the prime knit pair. I know with the mesh pair, going down half a size is, is pretty much a tough challenge. So yeah, sizing is the same as all your PK NMDs. Uh, I'd say you can go true size or half a size down. If you're going with the mesh variant, I say go your true size or half a size up. But yeah, getting into the shoe, uh, I mean, I really like the design. The only thing that really kills it for me are these three stripes, which, I don't know, I, I just am not really feeling that. The design kind of reminds me of like the glitch camos that came out a while back. Uh, something similar to that and I really did like those so I think taking off these stripes would be a good idea which I plan on doing as you see you get your collar right there which is pretty much white and gray uh, you do get some black speckles throughout the shoe but I did like this one a little bit over the black pair now funny thing is the finish line that restocked these here in town did not have the black pair they just had this one uh, they just had like bigger sizes I think they went from like a 10 to an 11 and a half and I just happened to get the 11 It wasn't by choice or anything It was just what they had left and my girlfriend just grabbed what they had but very lucky that they were able to at least hold the 11 for me uh, I told her to just check if they had 11 and a half or something like that and She said she just took what they had so thank you to the guys out there at finish line uh, But getting into the shoe right now as you see you get your two EVA plugs right there Which is just pretty much white you get that camo ish I, I want to say glitch camo so bad with these but they're not the glitch camo uh, but they pretty much remind me of that you get your black little heel cup right there And then you get your tricolor style little pull tab uh, Which I know a lot of people were complaining about when they're trying to turn their black tricolors into the pitch blacks uh, It didn't really match up too well, but if you guys guessed it I will be doing a custom with these uh, It's gonna start by a video of me removing these actual stripes and showing you how to do that and then I'm going to be choosing a color to do. But yeah, that's where I'm going to need your guys' help. Uh, I'm not too sure on what color I want to do these yet. I'm kind of going like towards a maroon and burgundy because the university I just graduated from is that color. And I thought it would be pretty cool to do something like that represents my school. But I also want to hear what you guys have to say, which color you think would look best with this. And like I said, I'm going to be removing the stripes and then I'll be going to town on them. So yeah, pretty happy I was able to get these for retail instead of having to pay resale to do a custom. Uh, whenever I get a pair to do a custom on, I don't like to pay full retail, but in this case with the PK NMD, I've never ever seen these go on sale. But yeah, I'm probably going to rock these a couple times just as they are, just so I can wear them. Uh, of course, I'm going to be throwing these on foot for the end. But overall to me, I like to say that this is a pretty clean shoe. Like I said, it's pretty close to the Glitch Camel in my opinion. Of course, it has a little bit of a difference to it. Uh, but that black one that they release is pretty similar to the pitch black, just not as dark. So I've seen some people go over it with black and then black out the boost and it looked pretty darn similar. But yeah, definitely hit that subscribe button because I will be doing a custom very, very soon on these. And if you've seen any of my custom videos before, I list everything that I use. I do time lapses, all that kind of stuff. Just in case you guys want to keep up and do one. But yo, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe button. And keep your eyes peeled for that next custom video that's coming up. But that is it. Here's your on foot.